Captain Mike Cortigo. Tell us about what's... I cash last day. Woo <laughs> Fired up! Can you tell us about what's happening? Can we now show it? Show it. There it is. The white, the white owl. Tackle Web's white owl. Comes in white, now matches your boat. Yes. There in all go. sizes. All the sizes. All your favorite sizes. So we got the cup holders in white. We got all the different sizes, all the way up to the 32 and the cooler webs in white. So, you know, web out your cooler web. Pimp it out, dude. Pimp Keep it your out. sandwiches from getting soggy. Nobody wants to eat a soggy sandwich. Nobody wants. Soggy sandwiches aren't worth eating. It's not. It's not. Just throw that out. Throw, make a big old meat fruit roll up. <laughs> eat it. <laughs> Kobayashi it. Kobayashi. <laughs> oh. So how has the show been? The show's been pretty good. The whites have been very well received. I'm you know, very excited. Uh, met a lot of new friends, new distributors, new dealers. So we're getting out there and uh, Tackle Webs will be coming to a store near you. What is next for Tackle Webs? Are we allowed to even talk about this? No. <laughs> Not at all. Big things. Big things in the works. It's so. been a fun show. It's been good. It's been good to finally get to back out on the, you know, I guess out, out on the road, even though we're local. Yeah. But to see friends getting back in the groove of things, trying to get out there and starting to boost the economy, boost the industry. So it's been nice to see everybody from professional anglers, people in the industry, owners, um, a lot of guys talking to us about a lot of things that we've done for the show. And uh, so it's been exciting that uh, after this hibernation, COVID hibernation, the uh, hangover's starting to finally come off and people are getting back in the swing of things, so. When are the white ones available? They're available now online at the website, tacklewebs.com. And they range in all different prices. Yeah. Like the cup holder's like 14 bucks, right? 14.99, yep. Yeah, and then the other ones, and they come in the bungee, as you can see right there, or they also come in the Velcro, or the hook and loop, as we call it. Oh, Chris Lane. <laughs> Hi, Chris. So yeah, inside your hatches there. It's a beautiful hatch made by Boat Outfitters. But yeah, look at that Just stick it right here. Keep all your items right there, necessary. You can close it up. Coast Guard pulls you over. You got your your paperwork ready, man. You'd be like, hey, buddy. They're like, this guy knows what he's doing. See, he's got all this stuff organized. So. And it isn't just that. We have our our backpacks, our ultimate uh, backpack, ultimate marine backpack, waterproof back. Yeah, We've waterproof got backpacks, some uh, other bags. A great price point, heavy duty material, top quality, unbelievable product. bags. I've been for the dragging price around. Point, instead of paying a hundred and something dollars for a backpack, you get the same quality at about half the price. So yeah, it's it's pretty amazing. Uh -huh. I've been dragging around all week so. until today. Yeah, that's a beautiful little red yeah. purse you got yeah. there. For CCA gave me. <laughs> <laughs> Quite manly. Yeah, yeah, it looks man. That's the one thing. So yes. The problem is you can't wear that. You can't hold that with a full hand. You have to wear it. you have to hold that. <laughs> like you're like doing a little thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is how you have to hold this properly. You can't you can't manhand it. Okay, everyone go to tacklewebs.com and check it out. And thank you. Didn't think I was gonna do one with you, did you? I did. My jeans up, I look good. You always All my look hairs good. are in the right place. All right, you ready to rock and roll? I'm already filming. Hey there, Fisher World Woods Shaking Fat Cat Dude coming at you from iCast 2021, day three, the final day, and the buzz has been the game changer from cash and fishing rods. This thing is built for speed, also built a lot like me. Strong, sensitive, and sexy. <laughs> You've got your bait caster up top, your spinning reel down bottom. You're able to power fish up here, finesse fish down here. You're going to take and cast your power fishing to the left. You're going to do a finesse fish to your right. A little crank, crank, a little wiggle, wiggle. Boom goes the dynamite. You got Big Belly Kelly in the live well, and you're headed to the house, taking the chrome home because you don't want every tournament you ever fish with. The game changer from Cash and Fishing Rods. <laughs> that is awesome. Okay, now the question. All right. You and me. Me and you. How much? How much fun are you having doing NPFL? Love of my life, dude. Dream come true. Every situation we get into, every event we go to, exceeds my expectations. I was like most people, dude. Don't get me wrong. Coming into NPFL, I was skeptical. I was like, there's no way they're gonna be able to come into the fishing tournament game and do what they're talking about doing. Fortunately enough, we were able to get some of the good, greatest people that I've met as anglers 
to come together, that positive energy, like the vibe is good, man. Everybody's doing what they're supposed to be doing. Ownership, being transparent, taking care of their people. And uh, yeah, man, it, it's awesome. It's a lot of work, isn't it? Yeah, it's a lot of, it's a lot of pressure. It is a, a learning lot of curve. Especially with a dude that shoots videos. Yes. I'm a video, ha ha ha, oh, let's do another one. Okay, let's try this one, that one. Out there, bro, there's no second takes. It's live. You gotta get your life right and get in the zone. And now, what I say or do can affect other people. So that's hard for me, because I'm, I'm a wild dude. Yeah. You know what I mean? I gotta get loose on the juice. Now yeah. I gotta rein it back and make sure that uh, I take care of Bobby, Terrence, and Floyd. Did you have to go in and, and like learn and, and like, before the, the first tournament, did you talk to each angler to try to get a, a feel of what their comfortableness in front of a camera or even in front of you would be Absolutely like? not. You no, just, no, no. I went in like a bull of China chop. Yeah, I was ready to go. So I, I come in hot and I, you learn quick who feeds off that, who doesn't, and how to engage with people. So now going to event number five in Winnebago, Wisconsin, Oshkosh here soon, I've learned who I can be <laughs> with and who are like, hey, how's it going, Bobby? Was it good out there? How you doing, Terrence? So you learn that going into it, and I learned who I can feed off either way. So, you know, you got a little of this, a little of that, and 24 over to 5 over to 4 you got a bebop and flip-flop, and then you got a, you know, 24 over to 5 some guys. You know I'm the biggest fan. Biggest fan. Literally. I, I tech, literally, physically. Uh, but it's nice to see, I'm very proud of you. Because Thanks, dude. I appreciate that, man. It. It's nice to see, like, like I covered y'all that one. That yeah, one man, it was weekend. awesome. Harris chain. Yeah, and like I came out of there going, these guys got their Did shit. Did it exceed together. your expectations, dude? I think I said it too many times. Right. I like was dumbfounded by, you know, the owners, the the, you know, you guys, everybody open arm welcomed me in there. Right on, bro. And the anglers were just so happy to have someone else covering them and doing something. It was wonderful, so I'm very happy for you. Right on, brother. Appreciate Other that. Other than I was worried about you getting that sunburn after that first turn. Oh, I got toasty, so I had that COVID complexion. When I come out of there, I had that Florida complexion. I was, yeah. How many, uh, here's the last question. question. How, right. many times, how many times, how many times does people yell Bobby at you while you're Bro, out there? Dude, dude, everybody. You get mad at me when I yell. Hey, everywhere I go is Bobby, dude. It's crazy. Then people want to know, well, who's Bobby? What's Bobby? No clue. Something we started saying back in 87 and it has stuck ever since. So, uh, Bobby, what's going on, man? <laughs> that thing right there is just crazy. The it's whole awesome. Bobby deal, man. You're crazy, Bobby. Uh, you have called me Bobby. I have. <laughs> I've called, I called my own mom Bobby, so don't feel bad. <laughs> Everyone, go to Fat Cat Newton on Instagram. Uh, where else? Dude, YouTube, anyway, yeah, I'm, I'm all, all your social media platforms, Fat Cat Newton, man. I do family friendly fishing videos. I push the envelope sometimes, but no cursing, no drinking, none of that stuff. I just try to keep it funny for the family and uh, put a smile on somebody's face because I know every day is not a good day. And if I can give you a minute of laughs, that's what it's all about. And check out the game changer. That's right, Cash baby. And Rocks. Check that out. Like I said, built like me, strong, sensitive, and sexy. <laughs> Thank you, dude. <laughs> Appreciate you, brother. Later, brother. Hi, guys. Today, Patrick Semi is right here at the ICAST. That's all booth at the ICAST. And believe me, the ICAST 2021 not only was so welcome because after you know 18 months of confinement, what a blessing, what a pleasure to be back having your friends from the industry, which you know pretty much all people I know here that I really like are people like me who are passionate who love their fishing and who have some link in one way or the other with the fishing world because that's their life so that have been an amazing week um, we had a lot of people coming uh, honestly people like pretty much the new stuff so it was really really cool and today what I want to talk about is this guy that's the water bull uh, the water bull with the French accent I'm sure you love it right so the water bull is a pitching, flipping, and even punching for the heavier size uh, jig. So, what's special with this guy, and why is it worth for you to give it a try? And because in which reason, in which uh, sense, is that a better lure, a more a lure more able to achieve things that other can't, or not as well? So, several things. A big part of the work have been done by David Bolema and find and, and tune by myself about the head penetration through the cover. When you want to flip or punch a jig, it's really important that when your lure hits the cover, it has to be able to go through very, very well. So, tiny detail that matters a lot. 
there's no edge at all between the hook eye and the weight. That is a super tiny detail, actually pretty important. And I was amazed in the process of working on that lure, how important it was. And we went through five or six generations of, of prototypes because first the eye was more outside, like basically all the jigs you can think of. And definitely the one that was going through the cover by far the best was the one where it's totally smooth. You don't even feel any uh, little gap or hole or cut or whatever. Very important thing. The other thing to help that penetration through the cover is actually that, that flat area below. And as you can see right here, we have not one, but two width guards, which is not the only uh, jig that have that, but that's definitely something that's very efficient. Now, I won't go into the skirt. We have a great skirt, different, great color, but yeah, several great skirts already out there. I will not spend time on that. The keepers, keepers, well, two things. We have a keeper, that's a wire keeper for regular soft plastic, but also, for those of you who know my hyperelastic brand, we have a keeper that's part of, of the weight, part of the, the metal part. So that is made to fit when you want to use, uh, for example, the worm spin, the worm stick, uh, the dart spin also, because we have the hole underneath the sheen of the soft plastic, so they can fit here, including if you want to remove the skirt, whether that's because you cut some um, both in and they and they destroy the skirt or you just want to use the jig head alone with one of the soft plastics uh, that's also even if it was designed for pitching flipping punching that's also a great swimming jig actually very 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 snagless because the whole thing together that capacity to go through so well allows me to tell you in total truth that i was able to make tests where casting the whole day we were barely snacking one two maybe three times with eight or nine hours of casting into the cover and reeling through the cover with you know that that uh, water bull jig adding for example the minwao or the dart spin and the last thing but surely not the least my hook so i'm not sure many of you knows my hook probably not uh, but i'm gonna go through that's a design i came with when i was 16. does it matter probably not but actually when i came with that design the idea was I find and I realized there was something a little bit wrong in a conventional J-hook shape because two things. First, leverage. The hook point being here, a J-hook shape, the bend is behind and go, goes back here. So in fact you have a leverage because the fish lip is right here when you fight them and little by little the hook is likely to open, especially if you have a big fish or when you do punching and you use heavy braid and you keep pulling out the fish through the cover, well the jigs hooks tend to open little by little. So I have that idea when I was 16, in the middle of classroom actually, that by inversing the curve will give me less leverage here, that means less risk for my hook, basically to, to open and, and to make me lose my fish. That was the first and very important thing. But the second thing is not least important. The, the, the inverse bend is here. So when the, the fish lip, when a fish is hooked and the fish lip is here, actually we have the lip very far away from the hook point. Because the freedom of a fish, that means the moment that the bass can swim away, is simply when you have the leap here and the hook point is there and the bass check the head, you have only that little distance for the fish leap to slide and the lure to go its way and the bass to go the other way. Here, we have literally twice the distance. So when the bass is fighting, shaking the head, is much less likely, much less likely, to be able to spit the lure thanks to my hook. That's why the overall thing, having three eighths, half, three quarter, and one ounce, give you a great range of water bull to cover most situation and to be extremely successful using this lure. Well, that's a wrap. Day three, eye cast. It's over and done with. And in grand fashion, the story you're about to hear is 100% true. I'm walking out right now and leaving, and I had to go pee. So I walked into the bathroom and walked into a stall to pee. Decided to start peeing while standing up and making noise. And I was in the women's bathroom. And some woman who was two stalls down 
named Karen, obviously, started yelling at me. So, it is what it is. It's a beautiful thing. But the show's over. Not so many interviews today, but still a good day. It's good to see people. Uh, and a possible killer collaboration is coming soon that I'm very proud of already. Hope it works out. But now it's time to get back to the hotel and chillax. We're going to take down the booth, go to dinner, and just be happy that ICAST 2021 is over. So glad you stuck with me, guys. Hope you're having a blessed day. Remember, take your kid fishing. Get your fish on. We'll see you soon. Cheers. Hit like and subscribe. Take your um kids fishing. <laughs>